Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How many online communities do you belong to? If you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, well, then I guess you're a part of my community. If you come to our chat room at live.perillo.com to watch the live video feed as it happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you're a part of that community. It's an ad hoc community, nothing really for you to do other than just hang out, see what's going on, share information, talk about things, meet people. Online communities are a commodity these days, but it wasn't always that way. I started uh, my first online community back in 1996, a little over a decade ago, LockerGnome.com, which is still around. It's undergoing somewhat of a metamorphosis uh, and is soon going to turn into a place where you can blog or you can be active in our forums or just be active anywhere on the network and make money through your knowledge. Uh, we've been beta testing this for quite a while now and the basic principle does work. People have been generating revenue from the things that they know about anything, whether it's related to tech or not. We've, we've got a, a good structure that we're putting in place right now on LockerGnome.com. As a matter of fact, um, the website, even though I, I realize uh, this monitor is a little too bright and I can't, I don't know if I can set it much lower than the way I have it right now, uh, this is a, a screen capture of uh, what our uh, designer uh, is working on. And our designer has a community too. Artition.net is a place uh, for people who are interested in art to go to, hang out, share their lives with one another. And he's doing a fantastic job with the new design for Lockernome. And the reason why I'm talking about online communities, number one, because we're all a part of some community or another, uh, I've got an email a question from Abdul Ali asking about how to build an online community. Uh, he asks a series of questions, good questions. Is there specific software to use to build this community? What should I do before I start building this community? What kind of hosting should I get after bundling this community uh, together? How do I maintain it? Do I need staff to run it? Etc. Etc. He's got more questions. But the thing about community is um, it's not so much the tools that you choose it's not so much the website that you have, it's the community, it's the people. Uh, as I said before, community is a commodity. Uh, it's no longer a question of not having the right forum software, not right and having the right blog software, not having the right web host. It's a question of where are you going to spend your time? Where do you spend your time now? You have to reach a critical mass. You have to re reach an escape velocity to have a successful online community. You're asking questions that are good to think about uh, but here's the question, the community that you want to go after, are you sure they need something else? Are, are they frustrated with the choices they have today? Um, is, it a, is it going to be a large community, a small community? Uh, what are you going to do with your efforts in building this community different from what everybody else is doing? So uh, one place you might consider going to is ning.com, N-I-N-G.com. Uh, where you can build your own community on their uh, structure and they've got tools that are ready for you to kind of plug and play. It was uh, partially created and, and really led by Mark Andreessen, uh, who you might remember created the world's first graphical web browser. Uh, and uh, Mark and I have IM'd back and forth on several occasions. Uh, that's one place I would suggest going to. Instead of building your own and, and, and throwing everything together, you might go that route. With LockerGnome, uh, we're going to be using another a blog platform uh, that's more than just blogs. It's forums, blogs, just general community uh, feel. But we want to take a different approach to it than what a lot of other communities have done. The community I want to build is just a sharing of information. Information about anything. But most importantly, uh, fixing one pain point that I've seen in every other online community. And I've done this very successfully with a, a select group of people to this point, including myself, making money through sharing information legitimately, original information, original knowledge. Um, this is what I don't see anywhere else. You can join a forum somewhere else, but you don't make any money from the ads running on the forum. You can join a blog uh, network somewhere else, but you don't make any money from that. You may already have a blog and you don't make any money. Or maybe you, you have a blog and you make this much money, but you rather make this much money. I've got the secrets. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for the past 12 years of my life. That's what I do. My community is about to be 
your community if you're not already a part of Locker Gnome's series of newsletters and content or if you uh, aren't reading the things that people are blogging there or talking about in our forums today. We're about to bring everything together. Everybody's going to be happy. It's taken me 12 years to get there. But hey, the internet is an in, in evolutionary um, process. It's never going to end. Uh, it's always, you always got to stay like three steps ahead. It's the reason why I'm pushing so hard into video now and YouTube because the community is all on YouTube. It's, uh, there are a lot of video places out on the web where you can go to upload videos. But the reason why I say YouTube is because, dude, everybody is there. It's the only video brand as far as my parents are concerned, as far as the neophytes are concerned when they think online video. What do they think? They think YouTube. They own that community. So it's the reason why it's been very complimentary towards my efforts. Um, Ustream.tv has got this tremendous platform for doing live video streaming out on the web. So they've enabled my community, and I think of my community as a circle of friends, uh, to do the things that I want to do. It's up to me to decide how I want to uh, put all those tools together. So there is no best of. There are a lot of solutions out there for you to use to get people to rally behind whatever kind of community you want to build. But understand, you can spend no money and have a fantastic, just a flourishing community of activity. Or you could spend hundreds, thousands, or more on software and building and have nothing to show for it at the end of the day. Uh, how many forums have you ever visited to see uh, two comments in the past six months? I, I mean, there, there's, it's different for everybody. You know, it's taken me, when I've been doing live video streaming for about, I think in, in March, in a couple months, it'll be about a year. And right now, we've got 340 people watching live as I'm recording this video. That's part of the community, a live community. Actually able to interact. I don't know how many people are in chat specifically, but we have the voiced, oh, 354. I have the voice turned on uh, so that uh, the chat doesn't keep scrolling so you can actually read what everybody is saying. Um, I use services out there to build this community. But... Community is just people, and it's all about making connections with people. It's not about the software. It's about people, and as long as you keep people in the forefront, you're going to be successful no matter what happens. Um, the thing you got to watch out for is not being uh, just like any other community out there. What are you going to do that's different? What do I do that's different? I don't know. I'm crazy. I leave this thing on all the time, and I, I work at home, and I do nutty things every once in a while, and I love sharing information and telling people how to save money and and get along with technology that happens to be around them. Um, for me, I've been very, very lucky, uh, not only because you're watching this video to this point, uh, but also because so many people believe the same thing that I do. Sharing information is good. Being open about information is good. Helping other people is good. I, you know, I, I read these questions. They're great questions. But when he asks about, do you need a staff to run it? I have you know, done my thing because I thought I wanted to do it. I don't really have a staff. I mean, I guess I do, but they also share the passions with me. So Kat is someone who helps me uh, upload my videos to the web, to the YouTube, helps uh, compile the show notes that are done with the videos. Uh, Ori Goretzky is someone who is a, a moderator in our forums, which are currently at help.lockernome.com. That may change in the near future. Um, you know, Alan has uh, also been very helpful. Bear, uh, helpful. Phil, helpful. Uh, every moderator in our chat room. Uh, and I, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have started naming names because I realize that's a slippery slope. I, I deeply apologize. I'll have to do like a whole video thanking everybody. Uh, but the bottom line is, I'm very thankful for the people that I meet every single day through this community. A community of people. Um, it's about those people connections that makes everything work not the tools uh, so just you can try it uh, but just make sure you're doing it different and make sure nobody else has beaten you to the punch because if they had it's it's gonna be even more difficult it'd be easier for you to create a community on a more local level and even then it's a challenge than it would be to create something grander uh, you know I don't know if I could have started Locker Gnome if I had to do it today I mean I started over a decade ago um, the uh, the hope is that whatever you do, it's genuine. And I think if you have a passion for something, 
everything else will fall into place. If you have an understanding, everything else is going to fall into place. You're asking the right questions, absolutely the right questions. Um, you know, if people aren't interested after you start the community, uh, try a different tactic. Uh, and it's going to happen. Don't feel like it's a bad if something's bad or it's a bad idea. It's a great idea. Uh, it's just that a lot of people have communities, and you have to understand something by the way the internet's evolving. Brand is decentralized. Communities are decentralized. You know me, Chris Perillo. I've got a YouTube channel. What? Well, I, I don't own that website. I, I'm on Ustream.tv. I don't own that website. I'm on Twitter. I don't own that website. Uh, I've got all these places where I'm active. But it's, I belong to those communities, so to speak, but I've still got my own thing going on. I still have my own blog. I still have my own uh, a place where I help people make money. I still have all these things independent of those communities. Um, everybody's going to want something different. Uh, but t try it. Don't give up. Uh, you know, Whatever you're going to do, that's the thing that I see stops most people is that they don't even begin to do it. Um, you know, I hope to be able to share more community building tips with you, and I'm sure people will submit community building tips. Abdul emailed me, uh, chris at lockernome.com is one of my ad email addresses, but I usually give out chris.perillo.com. They go to the same place. Um, the, uh, that, that's open for anybody to send me uh, tips that I can share with the rest of, as I say, the community. Uh, at, it's a community at large, meaning it's just anybody who happens to be alive. It's kind of funny. I got this email the other day, just, well, not the other day, today, from someone who worked at Software Etc. in Cedar Falls, Iowa, where I went to uh, college and, uh, or school. The, uh, he, he said he remembered me, like, from over 10 years ago. Uh, I was, I was, he, he worked there, and he, he remembered me. Apparently, I left quite an impression when I was buying my 28.8 modem. Kind of scary. No matter uh, if you've got any other feedback for the community, uh, community building tips, ideas, uh, tools for the community, feel free to leave suggestions. Uh, or you know, welcome to you're welcome to swing by our uh, live video feed page thing. It's on ustream.tv, but we also have a customized experience for the community uh, at my website, which I know is going to be around at least as long as I'm around, and hopefully. My legacy will be you. The knowledge that I share with you will live on beyond my life. Uh, but you're welcome to join us right now. I am live, or at least the camera is live, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.